In this video, we are discussing white box testing. In the earlier video, we discussed black box testing where tester was not having the access over the code. But in case of white box testing, the tester can also see the code, can access the code. If required, they can also change the code. So, it is conducted to test program and its implementation in order to improve code efficiency or the respective structure of the code. So, it is also known as structural testing. So, that is why here in this particular testing, we are not only concentrating the inputs given and the outputs obtained, whether these outputs are too much precise according to the user's requirement, not only that, also here we are trying to improve the efficiency of the code and the structure of the code when it is required. So, it is also known as structural testing. So, in this testing method, the design and the structure of the code are known to be to the tester. So, this particular case, as I told you earlier, the tester is having the access and must be knowing the respective design of the code and the structure of the code. Programmers of the code conduct this test on the code. So, here you see we are getting the detailing of this code and this is the input and outputs are obtained. Now, let us discuss the different aspects of this white box testing. So, it can be categorized in two heads, one is the control flow testing. So, the purpose of the control flow testing is to set up test cases which covers all the statements and the branch conditions. We know that in our program we will be having multiple different conditions are there, branch conditions will be there. So, we shall have to do that, we shall have to write the test cases in such a way that all the statements must get execution, not all the statements cannot get execution at one time, but in different time all the statements should get executed and this branch conditions should be tested for the true and also for the false. So, the branch conditions are tested for both being true and the false so that all the statements can be covered. The next one is the data flow testing. This testing technique emphasizes to cover all the data variables included in the program. So, here we are considering not the statements and instructions, but all the variables. So, the it, it tests whether the variables were declared and defined and whether they were used or changed. So, these are the tests to be done on the variables defined in the program in our data flow testing. So, in this way, we have discussed on this white box testing techniques. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.